So if you're curious on what makes an unforgettable wedding experience, well, my friends, you are in for a treat today. Uh, we are going to be talking about uh, some of our favorite moments with uh, our weddings of 2024 that we've filmed. Um, you might be wondering, who are we? All right, this is our first uh, podcast episode. All right, my name's Aiden. This is Haley. Hi. And uh, yeah, we just thought, you know what? We love weddings so much that we want to just talk about them all the time. Right? Of course. <laughs> Anyways, we are wedding videographers based out in Wichita, Kansas. And we just absolutely love what we do. And we thought that what a better way to share our thoughts with the existing community um, of photographers, videographers, wedding vendors, clients, whoever's out there that's interested in weddings. Um, we just wanted to be able to talk about this. So yeah, today we are going to be talking about what makes an unforgettable wedding experience based off of the weddings that we filmed this past year, past three years. Um, so stay tuned. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts, Aiden Davis Productions. We post all of our uh, client work on there. We've got our own corporate side of the business, Aiden Davis Productions Media. And then lastly, this is the ADP Podcast, also known as the Aiden Davis Productions Podcast. So if you're interested on what makes an unforgettable wedding experience, stay tuned because this is episode one. Nailed it. So I think the number one thing that clients see with wedding vendors is their personality. You know, it's not it's not their work. Yes, it's their work, but I think if you've got a good personality, um, clients will, will will overall see that over your work. Um, and I think that's what kind of starts with uh, providing an unforgettable experience for clients um, is just by, you know, showing your true personality, showing who you are. Um, and we'll dive into that throughout this episode. Um, I know when I was first starting out with the business, it was very, um, I was definitely an introvert. Um, Haley, you, maybe, I think you're an introvert. Yeah. You're, you're a pretty, pretty I'd say good introvert. I'm, it's like being introverted, but then when you're forced to be extroverted, you can yeah. be extrovert. And that's the thing that I was, I was about to say is like, you know, back in 2020, uh, my dad, he was a wedding photographer for the past 20 years um and so right gosh right as i was born he started his own business with wedding photography and that's kind of how i latched on to that started in 2020 uh shadowing with him kind of helping out with uh photographing these weddings and i thought it was awesome i was hooked and so i started uh kind of working with those other videographers who are working with my dad uh on those weddings and i was like this is so cool um the, I think the reason, the I think the true reason I started um, wedding videography was because I saw that they didn't have to talk as much, and I saw that as an opportunity because obviously I was an introvert, and I like seeing things in motion. I've always wanted to start like a YouTube channel and stuff like that as a kid, and so I thought like this was definitely down my alleyway. So I thought it was cool. I I shot my first video. Uh, I think it was back, it was either 2020 or 2021 when I was uh, filming with my dad. We offered a free video for about six hours of coverage um, and a short highlight film uh, with vows, speeches, everything like that. Um, and it was awesome. The client loved it. I think I got it out to them within like 24 hours. Um, and yeah, it was it was cool. I, I filmed my very first wedding with my dad. They loved it. The client loved it. Um, I was terrified though. I didn't even speak a word that day to them. Um, I was just kind of in the background doing my own thing. Um, but yeah, I think like overall, like I've over the year, last four years of filming weddings is I've definitely learned to, and Haley, you can say this as well, I think, um, is we've kind of learned to like show our extrovert side. Um, we're kind of forced forced to show our extrovert side, yeah. I feel like. Um, just because it's like, 
you know, it's like you want the client to be happy. You want everyone to be happy. It sets a good vibe if throughout the day. If you're extroverted, day. they'll be extroverted exactly. for the most part. For the most part, yeah. There's there's some clients out there that, um, you know, are very introverted and, you know, we, we love that too. Um, but, yeah, I think, like, overall, if you could show your extrovert side, that just shows the client that uh, you're, you're fun, um, you're enthusiastic, um, and, and you just see, you look like a great person to work with. Um, and I think with also being an extrovert is that comes with, like, getting these creative ideas. Um, this is something I'm still working on, too. Um, but I think within these past, like, gosh, like, five months, I'd say, um, we've definitely gotten better at like getting creative with our shots um, and kind of jumping in um, after the photographer is getting, mm. you know, their shots and jumping in and like uh, taking the opportunity to actually direct the, with the clients. Um, because I think videography, it's like there's there's so much like just kind of behind the scenes, like the photographer kind of just directs the most and I think a lot there's a lot of VRFers out there that can um, kind of get out of their comfort zone and start to um, get more creative with shots um, but yeah that also comes with just repetition and filming more weddings how do I show my extrovert side or like how do you get out of your comfort zone I will boogie it down on the dance floor mm -hmm. Haley is phenomenal at boogieing it down on the dance floor you'll see me on the sidelines just not the sidelines the Sidelines? Sure, yeah. Dancing away. Someday someone's going to see me. I will also try chatting with the bridesmaids. And I will... Yeah. Complimenting them, too. Yeah. Compliments. People love that, all right? So much money goes into weddings. You just got to say it. You know you're yeah. thinking it. So say it. If the mom's, like, planning the wedding, like, give them a compliment, all right? And how Tell them how fantastic them. this looks. Um, Gracie and Eddie's mom did a phenomenal Michelle. job of their wedding. She planned everything. Bridgerton vibes. Yeah. That's it what was it was. Amazing. Blue bows on the chairs. Yep. The color scheme. Loved it. It definitely looked like it, it had like a good, like luxury type of vibe. Mm -hmm. Um, subtle. So yeah. At the end of the night, we were just like, you are awesome. You did a phenomenal job. Give hugs. Give hugs. If you have that type of relationship with them, like, mm -hmm. you know, if, if, if they're comfortable with it, you can kind of tell, like, and they'll sometimes give you a hug. They'll, they'll come up to you and just, and it, you know, initiate a hug and it's awesome. Those are the types of clients that we love working with who treat us like family. And I think that's the, the uh, it should be the other way around is just us treating our clients like family. This is a good one. Offering support even if it's outside of your service. Haley is awesome at this. She is awesome to work with. You're good at like these, the the small details. But it, yeah, I think what I mean by like offering support outside of your service is like, yeah, we capture weddings as a living. Yeah, we're videographers. We get videos of the client. Um, and it's our job to provide um, everything in motion. And so the clients can like relive their day for the years to come. Um, and just really un trying to understand their vision, but yeah, I mean, like Haley, what are some things that it's like that you do for the client? I love watching and making sure they have water. Sometimes you can see the brides outside, even the grooms. Yeah, grooms, the groom out there, kind of kind of looking parched. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll go out of my way and find water for them. Yeah. Or every bride has their nails like freshly done, cute little things. And they sometimes can't put their jewelry on. And so I'll go mm -hmm. over there, offer a hand, literally, and yeah. <laughs> put it on them. Or, let's see, carrying their train, big thing. Bugs, if there's a bug bugs. in their dress. Yeah, Haley is terrified of bugs. <laughs> You'll see I that on her social media. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just, they're gross. Mm. Put under a microscope. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Yeah. And I think with bugs, too. If you ever see like a bug in the bride's dress, try your best to stay calm. <laughs> I also love, oh, one of the brides, they forgot their perfume or was about to put, like, forget about it. And mm -hmm. so I told them, hey, girl, 
you want this? Yeah. And they were like, thanks. And I did that. Or I love, you know, lending a hand, carrying their bouquets for them. Mm-hmm. Oh, like I'll go in the room. If they're open to it, I'll go in and just be like, hey, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Need anything? Just because it's not about just checking in on them. the business. It's just it's about them. And they've yeah, been through a lot. Yeah, making sure they're all right. If yeah. they're feeling, and that comes with like, you know, another thing. Um, yeah, it's good to make sure they have water. Yeah, it's good to, you know, help out with their dress, bouquet, carrying that for them if they need an extra hand. Um, another thing is like bustling the dress, um, knowing how to tie bow ties, ties, anything like that. Boutonnieres. Oh, the, what is it? Cufflinks too? Cufflinks. Yeah. Anything like that, like anything like that kind of stuff, just watch a YouTube video on how to do stuff like that. Even if it's just a simple like tie or something like that, or how to pin a boutonniere during it's the wedding day doesn't know. It's their first wedding, you know? It's their first time, exactly. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> For the most they part. might have never put on a suit before and they don't know how to or a big old dress. work that kind of stuff. Exactly. We've so. been there multiple times. So. As a guy, I know how to bustle a dress. I know how to tie a bow tie. I know how to, you know, work jewelry. I mean, I'm sure Haley would do most of the things with like the brides and whatnot, but um it's still good to know it's it's good to know to to educate yourself on that kind of stuff i think the vendor table mentioned this it's not like the the experience like the videos that they're gonna remember or like the photos that they're gonna remember the most about you at least uh the vendor um they're gonna remember you the most for how are you how are you able you were able to help out uh during the wedding day another sweet thing i love doing if they have like a little book like a sign here you know yeah, I yeah. love signing those. The most recent wedding, they had a little book, and uh, I signed a little cute little message, and they had a Polaroid camera, mm-hmm. snapped a picture of us, and taped it on there. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think, like, there's, at least in my opinion, I don't think there's any harm with, uh, you know, writing a nice little note um, on the on the we- their wedding albums, their books, letters, whatever. Um, I don't think there's any harm with that. If, if you've got a good relationship with them, at least, like, feel free to, like, you know, Go ahead makes and them happy. write a nice little note about your company and just how awesome it was to work with you, um, just so they can remember that. Um, and that might even lead to other referrals. Um, who knows? But if they were a joy to work around, I usually jot in there, y'all were great. Yeah. Thanks for letting us work for you. Just something sweet. And we truly mean that stuff when we write that stuff down. You know, it's like something about their wedding day that was either awesome or that we experienced with them. And We'll be like driving back. We'll just be like, wow. Mm-hmm. what a great yeah. day or even like uh, the barnet grace hill is amazing at this they give all of their vendors um goodie little bags. get little goodie bags it's it's so cool um and they they give like you know granola bars uh chocolates um little jerky sticks um and it's just like the fuel to you know last through the whole day last you through the entire day and it's awesome it's it's Again, like small details like that, um, providing stuff like that for other vendors, um, as well as clients too. Like, get your clients like a little gift or you know a little piece like candy bag or um, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy, but you know just something nice like a little gift bag for your client too would be awesome. Um, writing a little note saying how awesome it was. Um, because I know we get a lot of like letters from clients just saying how amazing it was to work with. And we keep us. all of them. We keep all of your guys' letters. Yes. Yeah. All the gifts and everything. We've actually got them like right on that wall there. <laughs> yep. I keep them up there. Yeah. Uh, social media and showing your personality online. This is definitely something that um, we have learned in the past three, four months or so. Um, I think like four months ago, we posted a reel of Gracie and Eddie's wedding. We did not expect this to go as viral as it did. Um, but we were able to get like, I think like over a million views Mm -hmm. on one of our reels, um, both on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok too. Um, we post on all social medias. So, um, but yeah, we weren't expecting it to go as viral as it did, um, but the real, we were able to show overall like 
the ex what it's like working with Aiden Davis Productions. Um, our creativity, we were able to show like how we can get a creative shot with what we're working with. Um, you know, in, in Gracie and Eddie's uh, video, we are able to get a cool like silhouette shot and now we are absolute suckers for silhouettes uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also it's just like, it, it forces us to like think outside of the box and come up with new ideas as well. Um, but I think if you're able to show your personality on social media, um, get like someone to do BTS. Like Haley does all the BTS for us. I'll sometimes get some BTS of her as well. Um, you know, if she's got a cool shot idea, um, but yeah, get, get behind the scenes and show how you work with clients. Like, don't be afraid to, to show how you work with clients on their wedding day. Um, cause I think a lot, like uh, all of the inquiries that we got from that reel, everyone was basically saying like, yeah, we just saw that reel and we loved how, um, you work with your clients, um, and just your personality. It, 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 it looks awesome. Uh, and I think that just shows that the clients can really see themselves working with uh, someone who shows their personality online. Um, and I'll say like social media, it's scary. Like <laughs> it's scary to, I understand how it's like, sometimes it can be scary to put yourself out there um, with like, especially with imposter syndrome. Oof. Like that can definitely get to a lot of people, including me. Um, you know, it's like, am I good enough to be, showing myself on social media am i being too cocky or like am i like even good enough to do this but i think like it at the end of the day no one really cares too much about it and if someone really does care about something to the point where they're just like kind of either bashing you on social media and just being like this is this sucks like blah blah, blah then those aren't your type of people to be around um so i think that's just what it comes down to so mm -hmm. And Haley actually inspired that shot. She was like, Aiden, you got to go do this. Um, and I was like, ah, no, I don't know. It's fine. Like, we already got some shots. And, yeah, we already got some amazing shots. But it's just another shot that the client could have that looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And that was definitely me being, like, introvert, very introvert, um, you know. But, Took initiative and it did phenomenal. Yeah. It did. It, it was great. Um, it was. It was a cool idea. Um, and yeah, I think overall, just be a nice person. All right. If you're a nice person, you can post on social media. Don't be. Don't get too cocky though. All right. That's what I'm always worried about. Is just being too cocky. Like I don't want to. Like. I don't. Do I have an ego? I think if I'm asking if I have an ego, then I don't... Th maybe I don't. I don't know. That's You don't. I try to be careful of that stuff on social media. Like, I don't want to be, like, the type of person to just, like, show us on social media. Like, obviously, you want to keep a good balance of, like, um, having yourself on social media, your brand. Because um, you are your brand. Um, but also, you want to be able to show... Uh, what you're getting uh, for the clients. So providing like final highlight films on social media, um, just having a good mix of like um, the client's uh, finished products um, or even like little highlight teasers. Haley, how great of a job is it to be in the wedding in industry? It's very fun as a young person who obviously had to have jobs throughout high school. Mm -hmm. They always say that work shouldn't feel like work. It should feel like a normal day just out and about and sometimes i forget that i'm at someone else's wedding i'll just be having a jolly old time and then i'll just be like oh wait a minute i don't know these people but it's mm -hmm. so fun that i just have a great time it's like because i love taking photos and videos mm -hmm. it's like whenever you're there you just get to experience the joy of the day but then I always use my phone to capture stuff anyway. And so it's like being able to carry around a nice camera and capture. It's like walk around, capture stuff. And yeah. it doesn't feel like work at all. It's very fun. That's what I think of it. It feels like work, but it, it's like fun work. Yeah. You know? Because like I would be doing this anyway if I wasn't. Like working. it's like it's not like you're like going to the wedding and you're just like, oh, like I really don't want to go to this wedding. Like, man, like at least you're doing what you love. 
I'm not kidding though. Like I would be recording anyway if I didn't have a camera. And so just Mm -hmm. getting paid for it's even better. Yeah. And I think definitely having like a creative eye for for it helps Mm -hmm. um, for those types of people. Um, Yeah. I mean, I think you kind of learn to have that creative eye over the amount of like weddings that you film. So like just with repetition, you kind of get that creative eye. I don't think... You can definitely start out with a creative eye, but there's also, you know, you can also start without a creative eye, and you can kind of learn how to develop that. I kind of had to make a decision to where, like, was I going to be doing more corporate stuff, or was I wanting to do more weddings? Um, And I think with weddings, it's just like, it kind of fell into my lap so fast to where I was like, you know, obviously my dad was doing it for the past 20 years, but I also wanted to do corporate work as well. Um... But then when I, I re- when I really started to understand like people's love stories um, and being able to craft that on you know their highlight films, um, listening to like speeches and just vows, like private vows especially, um, I get teary-eyed on every single time I edit a highlight film, probably. Haley can fact check that yeah. <laughs> uh we both get teary-eyed sometimes when we're when we're fil- when we're editing a lot of the time watching the finished product yeah definitely like the speeches is where it sometimes hits mm-hmm. um hattie her and her dad uh her dad's speech that speech was awesome and that was incredible i think that wedding was one of our favorites that i've edited but yeah i think like receiving that uh amount of joy and just like appreciation through filming weddings um it's a good reward so i think if you're doing what you love um that's awesome but when it comes with a reward uh that's even better like that just makes you you know continue doing what you really want to do and i think weddings at least for now um that's where it's at for us what are our favorite moments from this past year of 2024 let's see most recent, it was a surprise thing, having picture of Flower Girl, but having a guy walk around with beers down the aisle. Oh, yeah. The beer boy. Yes. That was pretty funny. He was dressed up in all-American flag clothes mm-hmm. and handing out beers as he was walking down. Loved that. There was also... Here's... <gasps> there was one, the granny, busting it down the dance floor with the groomsmen, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The uh, the the uh, the bride's grandmother, uh, or no, it was the groom. It was the groom's grandmother, absolutely just getting it down on the dance floor with the other groomsmen and the groom. It was awesome. There was, I'm not I'm not sure if I feel comfortable saying you know what types of moves were going on, but you know we'll say it was pretty badass. <laughs> uh, it was so cute. Yeah, it was it was cute. It was awesome. That's another thing. We always make sure to capture like grandparents and stuff like that mm-hmm. because it's like if, you know, we've had couples where, you know, their loved ones have moved on um, and they come back to us and they're requesting, you know, they're asking us if they if we've got any footage of them and, you know, we'll see if we can look through all the footage. We don't always guarantee our footage. Um, that's definitely something to put in an agreement um, if you have like a contract or anything like that. We can't guarantee footage just because that's the way it is um, with video and, and also photos. Um, we just can't get everything uh, we that you might request, but we'll try our best. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll send each. Uh, we were able to send like footage of you know grandpa, grandma dancing, um, and you know obviously we'll probably send it to them for free. Um, and it was awesome. So. Uh, we've had that happen a couple of times, and we will gladly send them videos of their loved ones. What were your some favorite moments at a wedding? Yeah, I think I was going to lead on with this uh, from the beer boy. This is kind of a hot take. You don't have to do all of the wedding traditions. You can be different. You can make Eek. it to where however you want your wedding to look like. Uh, to be like, you know, if you want to have a beer boy instead of a flower girl, I think that is freaking awesome. If you want to dedicate your bouquet to your mother. If you want to dedicate your bouquet to your mother, that's incredible. We've seen lots of that happening lately mm-hmm. um, where the bride dedicates their bouquet to their mom because they are, 
Uh, if they, they do got, like, so much, and they yeah. don't get a dance. They don't get to walk you down the aisle. And it's the least mm-hmm. you can do for them. Yeah, it's just something special that, uh, you know, they get to do for their moms. Um, we think that's cool. What are some other things that are like traditions that you don't have to include on your wedding day? Walk yourself down the aisle. You can walk yourself down the aisle. Having a private, lastly, like a last dance. Like, or even taking a moment like before the reception with your partner. Just because the day is so overwhelming. And so if you yeah. need a moment to be alone and just soak it all in. Because at the end of the day, it's your day. You get to live it however you want. Wrapping up this episode, I think we should talk about like differentiating yourself from other people, other vendors. So I think it's good to seek inspiration from other vendors when you're starting out. But eventually, as you work throughout the wedding industry, as you know, the years go by, um, if you're still running your your business, if it's if it's doing well, you need to learn how to differentiate yourself from other vendors because I think what a lot of people are seeing is trends and they start to you know start to do the same thing everyone else is doing um, and everything just looks the same though I think the one reason that real went off was because it was it was creative um, it had a good hook you know people wanted to wonder what this creative shot was but we hadn't really seen too many people doing that type of stuff um, and so that was just kind of a cool sh- like idea that came into my mind. But yeah, I think like when you start to differentiate yourself from other vendors, that's when you really start to stand out. A lot of people are like, oh, but I want like, you know, the views or I want to hop on this Instagram trend or something like that. And yeah, that's cool. Like it's good to have a mix of that, of, of trends and, you know, getting these other creative shots. But, you know, when you start to think outside the box and think different from what other people are doing or how you can even make it better, that's when you really start to stand out. And that's what people like to see, especially clients. I think a lot of businesses start to see these trends. And then when these trends kind of fall off, they kind of still kind of stick to that trend. um, And that's where their business can, you know, hit their hit a downfall. Um, And so that's especially where you kind of got to start to pick up something new, um, something different. So that's kind of the reason why you should differentiate yourself from other vendors. Any other thoughts? Nope. All right. All right, guys. That is episode one, Knocked Out. Uh, We are on all social medias, all right? If you guys want to see our client work or if you guys want to work with us, Please feel free to visit AidenDavisProductions.com and we will be back with you within 24 hours. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, my arm is cramped up. Break. Ow. I see this in my hand. Higher speed. Ooh.